fact, two names for one thing. Funny, right? I'm going to talk about some of the fishes in my tank. We'll start with the starfish. You saw it just fell down climbing this glass. Isn't that cool? Look. Let's see the moon. I'll be quiet this time. Isn't that cool? The starfish can move just like that. Bet you've never seen a starfish move like that. It's getting back up since it fell down like that. See? One fact about starfish. Starfish, you know these things, these arms that starfish have, they have their eyes right here, but they're so tiny. They're red, but they're super duper tiny, as tiny as they can be, so you can't see them. Sometimes, you're, if you're lucky, you can see them like really closely, but mostly, you can't see them at all. Looks like they have no eyes, just don't, doesn't it? Right? See? The cat climbs back up. And for tank, a reef tank consists of fish and corals. The other tank is a fish-only tank, which only has sand and fish. No corals. So. Right now we're going to talk about this anemone. This is the anemone. And fun fact about anemones, that's the mom and that's the baby anemone. And how the mom gives birth to its baby anemone is that, imagine my hands are two anemones. One anemone, okay? It's right back. And then the anemone slowly, slowly splits in half this slow, okay? It splits, 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 and has two anemones. Isn't that cool? So now we're going to review the urchin. It's right here, and the other one we have two. The other one is up there by the mama and anemone, and on top of it is a mussel. On top of the urchin, there's a shell. So, fun fact about urchins. Did you know that the urchins can live in any level of the ocean? The twilight zone. All right, I'll tell you them in order. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. Midnight zone. So, sunlight zone is where all the light comes in. It's super bright. And a lot of animals live there. And then the twilight zone is when they will teeny weeny light comes from the sun. So that's why like a lot of animals glow. And then in the midnight zone, there's no light at all. That's why every single animal that lives in the midnight zone glows. The light is to help find their way and to scare predators away. So now let's talk about these Shrimp. These shrimp that we have in our tank are called fire shrimp. And the, the, so underwater in the ocean, there's this place where a cleaning station, there's fish, and giant fish come, and turtles, and sharks, and then the other fish and these shrimps include, and some other creatures, clean it. It's a healthy meal for them, and uh, good cleaning for the the per, the sea animal who they're cleaning. So these are part of the cleaning station. They're a shrimp, kind of shrimp, who helps clean. Isn't that cool? They're called fire shrimp because they're r really, real red, like hot flame and fire. This is called a peppermint shrimp. I'm not sure if it works in the cleaning station or no, but it has these four things and those two as extra. All the shrimp have those. But the reason why it's called a peppermint shrimp, you know how the peppermint candy looks like? Red and white stripes, and a lot of them do. It has white and then a red stripe in the middle and then a white, teeny white line in the middle. That's how, that why it's called a peppermint shrimp. Its body is striped just like a peppermint candy or a candy cane. Because a candy cane is also another peppermint candy. Now, we'll, now we'll talk about clownfish. 
But did you know that Finding Nemo, in Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, Nemo is actually a clownfish? Dory's not a clownfish, but Nemo is. Hey, where is Nemo? Oh, there's Nemo. I named him Nemo. All right, he's swimming there. Fun fact about clownfish and the anemone. Did you know that clownfish has a special substance on their skin to hide in an anemone? They cannot get stinged. And did you know that's their protection from other animals who are trying to eat the clownfish? Because the anemone has a powerful sting that could kill some sea creatures, like the shrimp. So that's why the sea creatures avoid it. So that's why, why if the shark is trying to get the clownfish, it quickly hurries into an anemone. And did you know the clownfish live in anemones too? That is cool. Whoa. So if the shark tries to get it, it'll get stinged by the anemone. This big fish is called the laser tag. Fun fact, it looks like it has lipstick on it, right? Right there. And also, it's a girl. So it's kind of like crazy because it looks like it has orange lipstick on. See? Right there. It had on its mouth. It's right here in the mouth. It's swimming away from my finger because the fish is all kind of scared of my hands and stuff when I touch the glass. But that's okay. Look at the starfish. It climbed finally, finally, finally. And did it fall down. Cool, right? All right, guys, we'll talk about the rest of my sea creatures in another video. For now, bye, guys. Hope you come soon, and make sure you watch all the new videos and subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you, and hit the bell icon so you get notified when new videos are there so you can be the very first to watch it. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Hope you come soon to see more of my videos.